Some of my favorite memories from childhood are going to the arcade with my brothers and all of us teaming up to beat the Foot Clan or some Sentinels until we ran out of quarters. I wanted to give my kids that same experience, but sadly, arcades have mostly disappeared and the ones that are left are just kind of different. So I decided to try to recreate it at home. My first attempt involved loading up MAME on a Raspberry Pi and buying a couple of joysticks. I even got it to work with Netplay so that I could play X-Men with my family on the other side of the world. But something was still missing. It felt more like a home console than being in an arcade. I realized that an arcade is a multi-sensory experience. That cacophony of sounds and flashing lights assaults all your senses at once, and I realized I would need more than one machine. The first machine I bought was the Capcom Retro Station. This machine is a beast, with a huge monitor and speakers that put out a ton of sound. The build quality is excellent. It looks and feels high quality. The only downside is the selection of games. Out of 10 games total, four of them are different versions of Street Fighter II. And the Mega Man collection isn't much better. Where are the Capcom classics like Captain Commando, Ghouls and Ghosts, and Final Fight? Luckily, this thing is remarkably easy to hack. There's a hack called Flynn's, which is a play on the fact that this machine is made by a company called Tron. This hack allows you to load your own ROMs on there. I loaded it up with my favorite CPS1, CPS2, and CPS3 games because I just had to play Punisher on this bad boy. It has HDMI output as well to play it on the TV, but my goal is to recreate the arcade experience, so I didn't try that. My second machine in the collection was the Taito Egret 2 Mini. This thing feels like it was designed by people who love arcade games. It's got over 40 games on the stock build, with expansion packs to add even more games. But the coolest feature is definitely the rotatable screen for switching between standard and tate mode. That's essential for a company like this that made so many great shooters. And if that wasn't enough, you can get a trackball and paddle expansions as well. The developers thought of everything for this machine. It feels and plays great. The third edition is the SNK Neo Geo Mini. This machine is a little too small for my fat fingers, and playing on it isn't really all that comfortable. You can buy an optional gamepad and output to a TV, but that sort of defeats the purpose of a mini arcade. Saying that, I had to buy it for six reasons. Metal Slug 1, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 4, and Metal Slug 5. These games alone make it worth the price tag. Last but not least is the Sega Astro City Mini. For people who haven't been to Japan, arcades here look very different than they do in the West. For one, you're meant to sit and play at them, so they're lower to the ground and usually have a stool. But also, Japanese arcades are almost all kits, meaning they all have the same exterior cabinet design the most common of those being the Sega Astro City. If you want to replicate the feeling of being in a Japanese arcade, this is the one to get. They also have probably the best selection of games, including two of my favorites, Altered Beast and Golden Axe. But, like the SNK Neo Geo, this is small and the controls are hard to use without an external joystick. The screen and sound are much smaller as well. Like all the others here, you could output to a TV if you wanted, but that's not for me. So, let's see if I can recreate the same arcade feel by getting all of these machines on at once at full volume. All four of these machines have HDMI output and optional controllers for multiplayer support. For playability, the Capcom Retro Station is the most comfortable, but the game selection is lacking. For game selection, SNK and Astro City tie for the best, but both are pretty simple in their concept and neither are very comfortable to play for a long time. I would say the best overall, considering design, 
selection of games, and overall concept and execution is definitely the Taito Egret 2. This one is definitely for arcade enthusiasts. All of these are really cool, but what I really want is for Konami to put out a mini arcade. And not like the Dance Dance Revolution Mini. I'm talking about an arcade that has the Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men, Sunset Riders, all of the classics on it. I would buy that faster than this guy. <laughs>